This courtroom at the Supreme Court is filled with supporters of the new Nigeria People's Party and the All Progressives Congress from Kano State, who are here for the hearing of the appeal of Governor Abba Yusuf, who's challenging his removal from office by the lower courts. Also here are supporters of the PDP and the APC from Bauchi State, who are also here for the hearing of the appeal, challenging the affirmation of Bala Muhammad as Bauchi State Governor. I don't like what you're doing now. I during the proceedings, Abba Yusuf's lawyer, Wole Olanikbekun, urged the Supreme Court to overturn the decisions of the Appeal Court and the Tribunal. He contested the annulment of his client's victory, challenging the significance of the ANEC presiding officer's failure to sign or stamp the ballot papers, stating that it is unrelated to the Electoral Act. Olanikbekun argued that, based on expert witness testimony, only about 1,800 ballots lacked signatures or stamps, an insignificant number insufficient to void the election. Regarding Yusuf's party membership, Olani Kweku emphasized that it is an internal party matter beyond the court's jurisdiction to decide on a political party's candidate. In a counter-argument, APC's lawyer, Akin Olujimi, insisted that Section 177C of the Constitution is pivotal in the Kano matter granting the court jurisdiction due to its constitutional nature. Olujimi clarified that the tribunal found the unsigned and undated ballot papers, leading to the cancellation of the election where those ballots were used. On the matter of party membership, Olujimi argued that the NNPP membership register did not include Abba Yusuf's name. Even the court was asking, was it right, even if it is the case, it was it right for an offense that has been done by an INEC to be visited on a ordinary voter so but that was the only case and then that was where we are saying hopefully this appeal will be in the in favor of our candidates and god willing we are going to win this uh, petition i mean this appeal there are nine appeals filed uh, in this uh, appeal uh, of course the spring court collapsed all the appeals into one that is the one filed by abba kabir yusuf the uh, the candidate and uh, that appeal was taken all the other appeals will abide arguments were combust uh, briefs were adopted and the judgment has been reserved by the supreme court back in the courtroom the appeal from bauchi state is next counsel for the apc told the court to set aside the judgment of the court of appeal on the grounds that the tribunal failed to make a pronouncement on the invalid electoral documents tendered as evidence before it but counsel to the governor, Chris Uche, asked the courts to dismiss the appeal, stating that the appellants never brought any witness to speak on the electoral documents tendered at the tribunal. The response of parliament to that was to introduce a novel provision where electoral materials that are required to carry certain information are omitted by INEC. Those materials, in respect of the affected polling units, will invalidate the election in those polling units. Not the entire election, but the question is, how broad, how wide were the infraction that we have under Section 732 as to know whether it affected the outcome of the election? The governor, who was in court, expresses optimism in the judiciary. The proceeding was, is, okay, is a normal judicial process. And as I said, we have confidence in the impartiality of the judiciary, and they are doing very well. These crowds of supporters outside the courtroom from both Kanu and Bauchi State are anxiously waiting for the final verdict from the Supreme Court in no distant time.